Hello, hello! Welcome back to Red Ted Art. Now today we're going to show you how to make this awesome uh, DIY ring. Now it's not a normal uh, Red Ted Art video in that the materials are a little bit more expensive to get hold of and you will have to invest to make these. Uh, you'll need polymer clay, you'll need one of these little rings, you need some special glue. So I do hope you like it. I'm making the video because you've asked for it, um, but I apologise if you don't have all the materials to hand. But that aside, let's take a look and see how these rings are made. I started making this ring by cutting off some of the red polymer clay. I used Sculpey 3 and then I took some time to really soften it so it was easier to work with. To soften it, then roll it into a ball and slowly start shaping it into a heart by squeezing the bottom and then squeezing in the top to form the peaks of a heart. Strictly speaking, of course, you don't need two peaks because you'll have one of them in blue. So I flattened that one again. I just started off with the two peaks just to get the shape of the heart right so that I'd be really happy with it. Once I flattened it, I then softened the blue polymer clay and um, gently shaped it to fit onto the side of the ring. Once I was happy with the shape, I gently pushed it to the side of the heart and on the back I smudged it to kind of make it really secure so it doesn't fall off after it's been heated. You can also take a toothpick to help secure the edges between the red and the blue, but on the front you don't want them to smudge or move together. You want to have nice, clean, sharp lines. I kept checking against my finger to see that I like the shape and then I pushed it onto the back of my ring just to give it that kind of indent. Now bake at 130 degrees C for 15 minutes. The next thing I did once it was fully cooled was get my white acrylic paint. I love a brand called System 3 and I added the details with a paintbrush. So some stripes for the stripes and then of course some dots for the stars. Now if you don't have a fine paintbrush like I have you can try doing this with a toothpick but um, I did find a thin paintbrush was best for this um, and I made sure that the lines were nice and thick. Once you're happy with all your details, let it dry fully and then you can either go on to varnish or to glue on the back of your ring. I decided to glue my ring on first. I used a very good strong glue called Gemtac. You have to use a good glue otherwise your ring will come off. So either use Gemtac or something called E3000 in the US. Now once that was fully dry, I got my um, polymer clay varnish, in this case it's a Fimo brand, and gave it a nice varnish. For some reason I found the white paint, the varnish and the red polymer clay reacted and it had sort of a pink sheen and I didn't want it to look pink. To be honest it looked fine but I just wanted to look for the white stripes to really look white. So I added an extra layer of white over the stripes. The, the, the dots on the blue were fine for some reason but not on the pink. So I added an extra layer, I let it dry fully and then of course added another layer of varnish. And after that it looked just right. And once the layer of varnish was dried, obviously you let it dry fully and then you're ready to wear. So here you go, the finished ring. Isn't it lovely? Now my friend loved it so much, she asked me if I could make her one for 4th of July. So I did. I followed the same process and created a second ring. Enjoy!